or two. What if you regulate it? The appeal is that it's unregulated. Well, what if it's going to be a true currency, it's going to be regulated. Buy something with $10,000 or more, you're going to have to report, do a currency report like yeah. the banks do. So what's it worth then? And then the third thing, that if you, if you ignore the other two and then you still embrace it as sort of an alternative to gold, you have to ask the question, what's the marginal cost of production? Because it should trade in some relationship to its marginal cost of production. And Fig it doesn't. It, it trades at a multiple, I think, based on the last calculations of its I, marginal cost production. I am reading between the lines, and you, sir, wouldn't touch it with a 10-foot pole. <laughs> I think there are so many more interesting ways to lose money. <laughs> <laughs> That's very good. All right, sir, we appreciate you being with us. Thank Hans you. Olsen. Thank you, sir. Appreciate it. So, yeah, I mean, he's uh, he's definitely a detractor of Bitcoin. And he brings up a good point that, you know, what is the cost to produce Bitcoin? And, um, you know, it's a good question to ask. And uh, you're right. I mean, if you want to look into creating your own Ethereum tokens, it doesn't cost a lot of money to create a brand new currency. But there's a lot more <laughs> into evaluating the currency than just the cost of production. And once again, this is like old school people trying to evaluate something that's completely brand new. It would be like, uh, you know, trying to get someone who rides horses to evaluate a car, you know, or someone who, you know, builds cars to evaluate a plane. Um, it's just, you know, there are some similarities, but it's, it's evolved, it's changed, it's different. But the, the value, I think, at least for the store of value for cryptocurrencies, it just depends on what... Uh, asset you're investing in but a lot of these you know top 10 currencies and let me go ahead and just bring up the chart so you guys can check it out but a lot of these currencies it's not just based on the cost of production you know uh, neo cardano uh, stellar are not worth you know their their value doesn't come from what it costs to create these coins that's not how it works instead it's on the platform and that's one reason why ethereum is the number two uh, token it's because it has a robust platform it's a great way for uh, people to raise capital create smart contracts it actually took you know the idea of Bitcoin and, and it evolved and added more uh, utility to it and that's where the value of Ethereum comes from and a lot of these coins that's where the value comes so once again um, it's good that Fox News is bringing up some valid points but at the same time they're bringing in you know old school people that really don't understand the technology and in a way they're going to pass on the advice that they know but it's going to be limited and like I said it would be nice if some of these news outlets can bring people that are a little more uh, educated and understand the technology better but you know this is why there's a lot of potential and uh, money to be made in the cryptocurrency market because you have these distractors the people that don't really understand the technology and it's easy to dismiss cryptocurrency so this is why you should get in and uh, if you're watching right now you know there's obviously been a, a dip recently so I would definitely have some orders to buy uh, if you know Bitcoin does go back down under 10,000 I think it's a great buying opportunity again um, but long term, I'm very, very bullish on Bitcoin, and I see Bitcoin easily clearing 20,000 by the end of the year. And I see the t total market cap of all cryptocurrencies easily covering over $1 trillion. So, you know, more than doubling what the current market cap is right now. But let me know what you guys think. Uh, please subscribe to the channel if you haven't, and I'll keep you up to date with videos. And, uh, you know, do more analysis on uh, Fox News and other media outlets trying to cover cryptocurrencies and trying to understand it.